Is there a way of telling if CAR T cell therapy will work before it is given? Who's going to respond to a CAR T? And we saw some really interesting data here at ASH 2019, where if you look at the kind of cellular makeup of the patient's T cells from which you make the, the product, that you can see differences in outcome. So that's one area that would be really important to assess. Using single cell technologies to look in the bone marrow of patients who've had the product, looking at people who respond and don't respond is another way forward. It's looking at the immune cells in the bone marrow and looking at the stromal cells that make up the myeloma niche in the bone marrow. So this is a groovy way of assessing all of the cells that may be active in mediating response or resistance and looking to see the levels of those cells, how they're functioning, how they talk to one another. And it's really going to transform everything. So what does the microenvironment look like when you've got a response and can you change that environment? That's really exciting. How do you examine the microenvironment? Look at every cell in the population, characterize it, so we can look at all of the populations of T cells, all the B cells, macrophages, monocytes, the cells that make up the stromal niche in the bone marrow. So like this, this huge amount of information. And if you separate it by responders and non-responders, you can identify features that are different between those two populations. So it's an amazing data handling, artificial intelligence approach of using like those approaches to dissect out the differences. And then we'll be able to have really functional diagnostics that say you'll respond to this or you'll not respond to that. And so this, this is the way, the way forward. So for any individual patient, if you want to um, personalize therapy, people thought that just genetics were going to do it. But this new range of technologies that looks at all of the cells that make up the tumour and that make up the immune system are really going to crack this as, as a problem. And then we'll be able to say, OK, not one size fits all, but you're a patient. What's your body look like? This is the treatment for you. And I, I think this, this works much better than just genetics alone.